fucking bits. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Help keep our channel ad free by becoming a supporter over on Patreon and also scoring yourself some free miniature swag in the process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out our site, spikybits.com, for all the hot hobby tutorials, news, rumors on all your favorite hobby topics. And head on over to longwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content, early access videos, and more. Become a veteran of the long war today. Welcome back, X-Wing Maniacs. Rob Bear here today with Rick Noyes. Join us once again in the studio. What's up, guys? We're, uh, we're not drinking and flying today because somebody has to, like, run five miles in the morning. Uh, don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it P.S. It's not me. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I get up early to make to make the donuts, but uh, whew, not running five miles. Mm -hmm. Good on you, dog. Mm -hmm. That's why you're so skinny. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> uh, so today I am uh, I'm going up against his uh, Altani Mind Link uh, shenanigans, mega mega meta breaker list. But we'll get to that here in a second. We'll see. Yeah, um, this list is actually inspired by a couple of different things. Now you look at it, and you're like, yo, that's just a uh, that's just three Joe Masters, Rob. What do you mean inspired by a couple of things? Well, first off, let's let's talk about. It. Let's come back over here and talk about it. So, yeah, we got all the normal stuff that you normally see, except for my little special homebrew here of the feedback array, because once you've popped all your uh, um, your torpedoes, your feedback array is your next best friend, I feel like. Also, maneuver shenanigans, because I love me some maneuver shenanigans with the outlaw tech. I actually misread the card wrong at first. I thought I could only have one in, in my whole list, but that turns out to not be the case so hey loving it so we got two copies of that right there so it's your traditional kind of jump master type thing with your extra plasma torpedoes oops that's on the wrong thing your uh, extra plasma torpedoes and the, add the feedback array in this and then just as an added blocker i kind of took out the, the y-wing with the tlts going with this guy right here just to kind of get in the way and make you know make a um a mess out of things and you know try to take some of that early firepower so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it does because we're gonna go across the table here in a second and show you what Rick's got going on. Oh man, lots more jump masters over on this side. So okay. what do we got? So this is a list I've been running for like a week or two now, and it's really just caught everybody by surprise. This is uh, Manaru with a tiny mind link. Anti-pursuit lasers, unhinged astromech, K4 security droid. Uh, her goal is just to bump things and she's creating focus tokens and target locks that she can pass off with her ability to the rest of the squad. Okay. Now we got Paylob here with Mind Link, of course. For Alarm, he's kind of insurance for uh, Paylob's ability in case somebody has two tokens. I don't think it's going to come up in this, this game. Uh, cloaking Device helps him move around the board and try to stay away from people. And then Blaster because he ends up with a lot of focus in this game. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I then can see that. Finally, we got Guri. Guri can create a focus out of thin air at range one and start a combat phase. So if for some reason I can't get focuses on any of these guys, she bumps something, she's going to get a focus anyway, and everyone's going to get a focus. So for her, we've got the title, sensor jammer, auto thrusters. She becomes really just annoying to shoot at. So I asked Rob to bring uh, his best jump masters against me because I want to see how this list does against it. Well, we are about to find out. Be back with turn zero. So we have ships on the table now. So turn zero, we kind of just uh, splattered about the uh, the asteroids here, mostly in a symmetrical, kind of weird, uh, weirdly symmetrical, actually kind of manner here. <laughs> and usually when I fight jump masters, I like having a, a line yeah. of like three here because it seems to break them up a bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, Rob placed the first one here, and it kind of threw me off. So I tried to finish these two out to kind of block his lanes. I think this one's flicking me off. Yeah, well, it might be. <laughs> Take um, it however you want. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, so here's the jump masters here, and I got the two with war gear in the little delta uh, delta pattern here, and then we've got the decoy air quotes one here with new war gear, just kind of kicking it. And then over here, we've got how we're kind of squaring up here. We got uh, what? Jiri. Guri, Palub, Palub Magoob, as we call them, and Manaru. Okay. Um, and we'll see how this goes. So you can kind of see they got uh, their spaces are kind of clear there. Mm -hmm. So, yep, uh, we're going to dials. I have the first turn. Mm -hmm. 
And after turn one, not too much going on as to be expected. The jump masters have moved up, his jump master moved up, kind of matched mine. I barrel rolled out of the asteroid. Got some maneuvering room here, as does he right here. We exchanged some fire, but, but nothing really happened in range three there. So turn two, the butt sniffing phase is over. Something's gonna happen. Oh. So some interesting stuff happened here. Um, I'll kind of say my, my piece here, and then uh, Rick Rick actually has a little bit of tech that he knows he could have done, uh, probably for next game, just to uh, you know share it with you guys there. So basically, um, the Moldy Crow was up here, the HWK was up here, right about right there, yep. and I got it was outside of range too, so he didn't take away my focuses from these guys back here. So I was able to use the Dead Eye, get the target lock, launch two volleys of plasma torps. And I uh, had two successful, complete, clean sweeps right there, and that was just you know yeah. not not enough to evade. My, yeah, my uh, so I had the cloak on, and these extra focuses, which would have been real nice if I'd rolled any focus results. <laughs> that too. Um, so the first the first torp volley, I rolled like one evade and took a nasty hit, and then the second one, I think I rolled two evades, but it was you know it's too late. What I should have done, looking back on it is that first turn when I was back here somewhere, I should have cloaked up rather than take a focus. Mm -hmm. uh, that would have let me decloak. I would have ended up, I would start the turn here, and then I could have ended up here, stolen one of his focus tokens, and uh, caused him not to be able to shoot his torpedoes for that round, which would have been, it w it, in it, hindsight, it would have worked really well. It, yeah, it'd be advantageous. You, know, you just, you would still be at probably two hole points had you done the same exact thing, um, because I, I did shoot with that guy, right? You did shoot with that guy. I don't think he actually hit. Yeah. No. Yeah, you um, I think I might have gotten out of his arc, too. So who knows what would happen. Oh, uh, you might have been out of his arc, actually. Yeah, you might have. So it, it just depends. But, yeah. yeah, that's definitely something to consider for the future there because yeah. he does steal away those, those focus, and that's the whole point of this is that he steals them away at one to two. Yeah. It, it's not looking good for me now, so we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so an exciting turn. Well, not as exciting as the last one, I suppose. Uh, I only managed to deal one shield here uh, from a plasma torp volley, and I lost three shields on number 17, which is this guy right here, because mm -hmm. obviously he's in, a, he's in a good spot. And now he's out of torpedoes. And now he is out of torpedoes. So you can kind of see the maneuvers here. Did a 4K, a 4K, and then the S loop right here over to the left. So um, these guys took stress, but I was able to still get a focus over here because of outlaw tech and then I turned it into a target lock which I didn't use because mm -hmm. I still have one torpedo left on that guy and, uh, I did a little one slight over here and then barrel rolled uh, close to this guy because I want to be away from feedback arrays over here uh, he bumped I kind of figured that was gonna happen but he got a target lock for Gurry who ended up not needing it and just rolled a natural nice hit on number 17 so we'll see what happens next turn Oh boy, another turn down, uh, not too much happening here. Um, did, got a shield on uh, Geary here, um, but that was pretty much it. I, I could have launched a plasma torpedo here, but I felt like without the focus, it wasn't worth doing. Yeah, Geary's a hard target to shoot. Um, maneuvers wise, you can kind of see what happened here. There was some bumps, uh, I had a bump here as yeah, well. Yeah, bumping on the, so, on Geary. Yeah, on, on the asteroid, and uh, which I actually shouldn't have, shouldn't have fired with that guy, which I forgot about, oops. Yes, yeah, so you might have actually had that. Yeah. Um, He's the one who did damage in there. Yeah. I don't remember. I think he is. Yeah, so you get that uh, shield back there. Um, so anyhow, that was pretty much it. The, not too much happened in here. He barrel rolled out of uh, arc right here, which kind of put him in range to the torpedoes or still in line of sight or arc. But the question was he didn't want to get feedback right, so I can kind of understand that. And, uh, of course, I wasn't going to. And it put me through an asteroid, so. Yeah, so it was a probably a probably good spot right there for him. Mm -hmm. So it's a big scrum here in the middle. You can see our maneuvers there. Just a uh, bank one, tight one right there. Four straight ahead. Geary went four straight ahead but didn't clear. Yep. And then I just moved up to actually took a shield uh, right there as well. So um, got him in the feedback array. So Geary lost a whole point. But that was pretty much it. Got a good hit on this guy. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. He took 
two in this this crew. Two in a console fire. Yeah. So yeah, he's uh, he's sort of hurting, I guess. Yeah. Pretty sort yeah, of hurting. I can see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's where we're at. So this turn came and went, saw the destruction of one of the jump masters who uh, turned this way, trying to get out of harm's way, but it turns it turns out that uh, uh, Jiri went after him and didn't turn to the left over there. Which was well, I was trying to complete a three signor, so I would have ended up turning right around, but I ended up getting blocked, so it oh, worked that was out. The, oh, it was the singers. Okay, yep. so you were going that way. All right. Mm -hmm. well. Unfortunately, I outthunk, I outthunk myself right there. <laughs> uh, so he was destroyed, yep. and because uh, he barrel rolled over this way to try to get out of range, and uh, took a little bit more damage, dropped the shield over there. But seventeens uh, down to or seventeens sixteens down to hull. Yep. So uh, getting there, yeah. the race is on. Yeah, interesting. Yep. Some more uh, fancy flying here. The jump master over here did a K turn, uh, stressed itself, but it did get a focus, which it used to cause uh, two shields on Manor right there. And this little guy didn't get any shots because he collided. Did a yeah. tight turn here and a barrel roll up into the grills. Yeah, Gurry couldn't shoot. Uh... Manor got a great shot on the jump master. Here. Yeah, actually, I got I lost three hull right there. So with that direct that, hit, that was a thing. We don't like that. <laughs> Last turn of the game here. It was uh, it was a little thinker. They had to do a lot of thinking because I wanted to try to bump him onto the asteroid, keep him from doing his action and getting all his stuff. I did bump him successfully over here. Kind of moved in, barrel rolled over to the right. Mm -hmm. Uh, but nailed the shit out of this one. Just uh, just threaded that needle right there, so I was still able uh, to potentially get some shots. Unfortunately, he is uh, pilot skill four, and he avoided that asteroid. Didn't take any damage and killed him <laughs> with the three dice. So unfortunately, I realized the threat of uh, the HWK over there, but did not continue on the easy prey of Manaru and put too much time and effort into this little guy right here when I should have been burning that guy right down. But that's just, uh, you know, picking your targets in the, the space curves because mm -hmm. um, you really have to deal with things that are, you know, giving out focus, giving out things like that, you know, the mind links. Gurry, even though he's bumping, is getting a focus every round, mm -hmm. which is giving focus to everybody. Right. Um, now, if you had been shooting at Manaru, Manaru can pass red target locks over to anybody else on the team, so all your target locks are going to go away to somebody you don't want to shoot the next turn. Oh, uh, that's that's always interesting too. So a little more survivability on Manaru than people first at first glance. And that's any time you can always pass tokens? At the beginning of the, the combat phase, yeah. Beginning of combat phase, okay. So it wouldn't quite work with Deadeye, but it would work for right. the, the freebies from mm -hmm. Deadeye. Uh, but not necessarily when launching towards. But yeah, it's a good mechanic to remember for sure. So Rick's gonna probably get this one. We did run out of time actually before we even took the turn. That yeah. uh, time ran out. So either way, it was probably the end of the game uh, in more ways than one. But I'll just get out with a little bit of MOV right there. Mm -hmm. Did I get half damage here? Uh, almost. Manor almost. needed one hole to take half okay. damage, and then uh, that's fine. That's yeah. just you know that's just more reason to uh, to damage them. Yep. Those large ships, man. So that was it for this one, y'all. Thanks Thank for watching. You. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.